you guys were great, but I have to think there's something specific about David O. Russell's style or something that gets these performances out of actors. What is it? I'm so glad you said that because it is true. I mean, I think we all owe it to David. Uh, he does have this uncanny ability to get his actors to a place of utter sort of, I, I, I say vulnerability, but it's almost like a pure creative mm -hmm. state is what I would say. Egoless, willing to jump off a building in terms of fear uh, and, 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 you know, without a net and just really, he just has this way of doing it. He just creates this atmosphere and the next thing you know, you're just behaving. <laughs> and that's wonderful because that's the goal all the time. All you're trying to do is just be, in the, be present and be out of your head and be the way one is in life, hopefully. How important is it that you've worked with him before? Does that, I'm sure that helps. Oh, uh, it's, a, it's, you know, it means it changes everything. You know, we're just able to cut through things so fast and just get to work right away and, and be able to get as many possible takes, choices for the editing room because we have the time, because within the time limits, we're able to go in so many different directions. Talk to me about this character. What drives him? Because he is not, short of drive at all, if nothing else. Yeah, I'd say um, frustration drives him, a, a need to prove himself uh, to be a man, to prove himself that he is a, what he thinks a man is. Um, you know, feeling like he wants to uh, be, uh, have some power. But I really think, too, it's like, he's a child. He's 15 years old, mm -hmm. you know, and he wants to be a grown-up, and he wants to hang out with the cool kids. And he also comes from a, a, a part of the world where uh, righteousness is a huge thing, and he, he really sees that it's very clear that he wants to take down these big guys that are corrupting America. He, he really does purely believe that. He feels like he's the good guy, right? Oh, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and I wouldn't say he's the bad guy. Right. You know, he really isn't. You know, there is no bad guy, really. The bad guy are these sort of people that Irving's talking about, you know, that you didn't even get the big guys. The big guys going after the money, you know, taking advantage. You didn't even get those, Richie. You know. Now, how important is the look of the film and the look of the character to help you get into it? For me, uh, it's, uh, I mean, it's everything, right? I mean, you have to believe the circumstances. So, uh, but we have it easy because we had a great team. The costume designer is incredible. The, the set designer is incredible. I mean, I felt we walk into those sets and, you know, and in the clothes and everything just feels like, bam, you're there. But we have to talk about the hair and the hair. Like, first of all, everyone's hair. Yeah, was crazy. on point, but yeah. your hair, what was that process? That process was arduous, and it was uh, 110 curlers, each put in separately, and then 45 minutes underneath that hair, you know, that like close encounters thing they put on your head. How often did you do that? Every day, every day we shot, yeah. Because the minute my hair would get wet, it'd go straight. So it wasn't a perm? No, no, he curls his own hair. <laughs> yeah, he curls it every day, yeah. That's part of his character, though. That's like, right. And what does that tell us about him? That uh, he can't have formed that kit to perm his hair? <laughs> that he's an idiot? I don't know. <laughs> that he's got a lot of time to kill? <laughs> One of the themes of the movie is kind of like how we all hustle each other and our own selves. In your life, have you seen a way where you hustled yourself? Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. I, I mean, I think the thing about that, what Irving talks about on the way, that voiceover on the way over the bridge, you know, that uh, we all con ourselves in order to survive. You know, I think that's, a, that's sort of a, almost a universal... Uh, statement that we can all relate to. And that, that's the hope of this movie, is that you have these sort of outlandish characters, but they actually can relate to all of them at various points in the movie. Yeah, not, not all that outlandish at times. I was like, yeah. No. I, You're like, yeah. I, I get, get it. it. Yeah, I get it. Seriously. You're like, yeah, makes sense to me.